I would like to welcome you to an ICAT training video demonstrating the simplicity of patient positioning for a CBCT 3D scan. If you are left with any unanswered questions at the end of this video, please refer to the ICAT user manual or call ICAT technical support at 800-205-3570. Today we're going to go over proper patient positioning for 3D diagnostic imaging. So we're going to use our patient to come over. First thing we want to do is let them know that we're going to be moving them around and positioning them so they're aware of what we're maybe touching them or moving. So first thing I'm going to do is open the gate here. I'm going to let my patient know to scoot all the way to the back of the seat and lay her head in the headrest for me. Perfect. The most important part is stability. So we want to make sure if the patient's feet are not flat on the ground that we stabilize them with our footstool. So I'm going to bring the footstool right around. And I'm going to have her place her feet right here. Perfect. The next thing I want to evaluate is the patient's occlusal plane, is her head level. So I'm going to just make eye contact with the patient and I'm going to have her drop her chin down if needed. And bring up just a little bit. Great. The next thing we want to do is we don't want to go ahead and close our gate. We want to evaluate where our occlusal plane is. So we're going to turn on our laser light. And it's right here, perfect. So this occlusal plane line, we went on about the tip of the upper first bicuspid. So I'm going to bring the patient chair up. Perfect. And then when they get close, we want to give them a big toothy smile for us. Perfect. Now I'm able to close the gate and know that I won't interrupt or hit the patient. I then want to raise my chin cup up right below the patient's chin and lock it back in. I'm then going to need to bring her head into the chin cup to stabilize. I'm going to use my headrest support over here. If there's a knob, I'm going to bring that forward and lock it down. Perfect. I'm then going to evaluate where my patient's occlusal plane is again. Perfect. We're going to look here now for this line. We want to line it up in the center of the face. So typically going by the philtrum or ANS, the anterior nasal spine, I'm going to rotate her head slightly for me. Perfect. Great. Then we want to stabilize her and use a head strap. We're going to come right across the patient's forehead. Two pieces of Velcro on the back of the headrest and we're going to stabilize them. Now we want to take a preview image. We want to take a scout and make sure that our patient's position is good as well as that we have all the anatomy that we're trying to acquire the image on. So we're going to go ahead and take a scout view. Perfect. Our patient's scout view looked great. So now what we're going to do is we want to go ahead and take our image on our patient. I'm going to double check my alignment. I'm going to let my patient know to take one final swallow, bite down on your back teeth, good, and place your tongue right behind your front teeth. I also want to let my patient know that the machine is going to rotate around, so if they feel like they're not going to be able to stay still, I'll have them close their eyes. Perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and release my patient from the machine. I'm going to remove the headrest. I'm going to go ahead and take the head support back. I'm going to open the gate as well as remove the footstool. Lean my patient forward and have her step out. Okay.